best place to eat in the all this evening. I'm going to do a video once again. Look all the innocent. Church and school. Once again. For the innocence from school, where my great aunt. Yeah. Yeah. My great aunt, cousins, my grandmother, and other family, the other two aunts, received their primary education right here at the Holy Innocence Primary School, situated at Ashford in St. Thomas. So again, this is the mural graphic on the school building, which was done by Miss Joan Connell in 2005. It contained things in St. Thomas such as the, the windmill is for Harrison, it's for Sturgis Plantation in St. Thomas. The Mount Key is that direction of Hogley. The school students down below is that whole Innocence Primary School. So as usual guys, this is the rear to Harrison's cave and we're actually Hogley. For the Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church at Ashford. For the Innocence Church was built in 1838 and dedicated in 1839, built on lands given by the owners of Ashford Plantation. And this is Holy Innocence Primary School. This school was taught by some great teachers. The most outstanding one was Mr. Lester St. Clair Vaughan, SCM, who was the headmaster of the school back in the 1950s and the 1960s and he wrote the National Pledge of Barbados in 1973 and he is also, first of all he was also the organist at Holy Innocent Church as well and he, there is a school here in St. Thomas named after him, the Lester Vaughan Memorial Secondary School which is one of Barbados' youngest secondary schools <coughs> and it was built in 1997 on late 96 and it was opened in 1997 so this is Holy Innocence Anglican Primary School where my family from my mother's side received their primary education and Holy Innocence Anglican Church I also have ancestors that are laid to rest in this churchyard uh, not on this side, mostly on this this side. Yeah. So the churchyard is full now, so they have to bury the people on the opposite side. I still have a great aunt that attends church here. The only great aunt I have living. Uh, she sings in the choir as well. Yeah. yeah. So I only have one great aunt, which is my mother's aunt, my late grandmother's sister. My grandmother's last sister is later. Uh, is I mean, she sings in the choir. She's the only one I have living. And I have, I had an uncle, my great uncle, Gorman Levine, used to be the bell ringer here years ago. And also, <coughs> my uncle Percy Ellis was a lay preacher here years ago too, my great uncle. Daddy Levine's from St. Thomas. Uh, my relatives, my aunts, my great aunts, and so on. So again, Harrison Cave runs all on the ground here. Harrison's Cave runs all under here. That is why it is said that when service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. Harrison's Cave is also in the parish of St. Thomas. 
Harrison Scare was founded in 1970 by Danish speleologist Ole Sorensen along with Barbadian Tony Mason. Together they dug their way through the cave, several boulders dropping on heads and so on. And, they, and also with Noah Pompey boys and David Pink Scarrington and others who were the first staff in the cave. And they're also from this area as well. <clears throat> they, they dug their way through the cave with several boulders dropping on heads and swimming through narrow holes all in the 1970s. And then on the 28th of November 1981, under the leadership of the Barbados State Second Prime Minister Tom Adams, who was the parliamentary representative for St. Thomas Aquitain, opened the cave as a tourist attraction and it was owned by the government for all the time. The cave was owned by the government. The cave was owned by the government for at least 39 to 40 years. And then in 2020, 2021, the, the government leased it to Chucker from Jamaica, so they're now the owners of Harrison's cave. Harrison's cave price is $46 Barbados. When it was owned by the government, it was $50. Now that Chucker took over it, now it is $46 Barbados. So this is Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church at Ashford in St. Thomas. And Holy Innocence Primary School down below. There, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. So Ashford is spelled A Y S H F O R D. And this is the Red Harrison's Cave on Welsh Mahogany. So you can see that my great aunt and other members take good care of the church, make sure that the church is well kept and they're clean. So St. Thomas along with St. George are the two central parishes in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. So there is no sea nor coastline in this parish. And again, these are the, this is the parish where my roots started for the branch so I went to different parishes mom and grandmother branched off to St. Joseph that's how my mother and aunt and two other uncles last set of children ended up in St. Joseph in branch Perry for the first my grandmother's first two children were born in Carrington's village in St. Thomas. All met my great grandmother Anki, Keelan Levine, also from this parish. She lived to rest at Holy Innocence Church. I didn't get to meet her. I will be my great grandmother, which is my mother's grandmother, who was laid to rest here before I was born, before I was born. So thank you guys for watching now. And have a blessed evening.
Holy Innocence Primary School with the mural graphic on it. And this is all Ashford St. Thomas. And this is Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church. And this is the road to Harrison's Cave and Lachmahal Gully in St. Thomas as well. As I said before, Lachmahal Gully is another tourist attraction in St. Thomas. Mahal Gully was established as a Barbados National Trust property in 1962. Yeah. And it is a collapsed cave. Rash Mahal Gully is in close proximity to Harrison Cave on the opposite side of Harrison Cave. And it is a part of Harrison Cave as well. Part of it is a part of Harrison Cave. Harrison Cave has a new zip line and so on attached to it now. And other features attached to it. Thank you guys for watching now. Have a blessed evening.